It's the 19th century, and we want to find the speed of light. For this experiment, we need a motorized rotating wheel with many teeth and gaps, like a gear. The width of the teeth must be the same as the gaps. Next, we need a light source, let's assume it's a strong laser. This could also be a light bulb, or even a candle, with the right lenses. We'll also use a semi-reflective mirror. This glass lets some light pass through while reflecting the rest. It will be tilted for reasons that'll become clear. Lastly, we need a regular mirror on the opposite side of the wheel. With the setup ready, when we switch on the laser, the light passes through the semi-glazed mirror. Some light reflects, but we'll ignore that for now. The light hits the outer rim of the wheel where there are teeth. If the wheel is rotating such that the light encounters a gap, it passes through and hits the mirror on the other side. The light reflects, retracing its path through the gap again, and hits the semi-glazed mirror. Some light passes through again, but we'll ignore that. The remaining light is reflected, and this is where we observe the light. Let's start rotating the wheel. As it turns, the light flickers at our observation point. We'll increase the speed gradually. Eventually, we'll see that the light is completely blocked, and no light reaches the observer. Why does this happen? It happens because when the light returns, the wheel has rotated by exactly one tooth's width, blocking the light completely. The light from the rightmost edge of the gap hits the adjacent tooth, the middle hits the middle, and the leftmost hits the left edge. From this, we can conclude that the time it takes for light to travel from the wheel to the mirror, and back is equal to the time it takes for the wheel to rotate, by the width of one tooth. With this, we can calculate the speed of light, given the rotation speed of the wheel. Let's do the math. Suppose the wheel has 720 teeth, and it rotates 13 times per second. This means it takes 1 13th of a second to complete one rotation. The time for the wheel to move one tooth width is the time for one rotation divided by 1440, 720 teeth plus 720 gaps. Now, the distance from the wheel to the mirror is 8 kilometers, so the light travels 16 kilometers in total. If we call the speed of light C, the time taken to travel 16,000 meters is 16,000 divided by C. This time must match the time it takes to rotate the wheel by one tooth's width, and solving for C gives us the speed of light 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second.